Yes, yes, people of the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world today. Please do let us know um, if you can hear us well, if the visuals are good and where you're coming in from, because that would be good to know. Mm -hmm. Where are we today, mate? We are at the as you can 2020 see behind 20 Smart China Expo. Oh, done. It's going to be uh, backwards if I... Yeah. Let me just spin oh, you around and have a look. Yeah, yeah. So Where it's the we? 2020 Smart China Expo. And it's actually, it says this year online because of the situation with COVID, they've got more of an online experience. Um, so there's only two pavilions instead of eight. Uh, but we're going to take you around. They've got sort of uh, a lot of technology that's industrial and domestic. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. We had a little look here yesterday. But we're going to take you on a ride. We didn't see it all yesterday, actually, did we? No, we didn't get a chance to see it all because, you know, it's kind of like I related to walking around a history museum. If you, if, if you don't know anything about what the things are, it's just like, oh, it's just tech. So you have to sort of dive into what the tech's about and you can understand how it's used in real life application. And it gets really interesting when you know more about it. Hey, this looks pretty cool down here. What do you reckon this is all about? Mate, all this stuff is looking cool. Oh, they cool. got a, a China Telecom 5G stand thing going on here. Okay. Oh, so this is, um, I was talking to the guy a bit about this yesterday, and it's, it's kind of a model how they're going to control, like, automated processes in various environments. And I've got to say, from what I see in China, the stuff they're developing on 5G and how fast they're doing it is just breakneck speed. You know, two weeks ago, Shenzhen was, was announced as the first city in China to have full 5G coverage. So that's really pretty impressive. So just, just to let you guys know, there's, there's, you can see over here China Telecom and China Mobile. So in China, to get the rollout of 5G faster, China Unicom, China Telecom and China Mobile all decided to share their infrastructure. So rather than them all put 5G masks up, they all share their infrastructure so they can literally get it deployed way, way quicker because in a certain area you haven't got to have three companies all erect a mast. They'll put one mast up there and they're all sharing that mast. Yeah, I mean, um, it was news like a few weeks ago that Shenzhen, uh, which is the city we live in, is the first city in the world it must be in the world I, to have full 5g coverage, coverage yes. the first one in china, china. Um, correct us if it's not the first one in the world but i believe it is so you can see here you know you've got some uh, these are some vr kind of goggles of some kind now i had a go at so, um some cool, vr yeah. goggles a couple of days ago at uh, a huawei exhibition and i was playing a game with a gun in my hand wasn't i Dad, I was playing that game with the gun in my hand and shooting all over the place. Oh, that was really cool. That looked really, really <laughs> cool, man. So I want to go and show them this over here because this was pretty cool. Okay, let's go over there. Yeah, so this is um, this is a company called Haya. They make a lot of domestic appliances here in China, washing machines, fridge freezers, things like that. They developed this sort of... Um, automated system that basically you can go on line and order a domestic appliance like a washing machine or a fridge freezer and this is let's say this is the model you want you can then choose to have blue or you might have a, a pink doors or you might have you know a blue button Man, or, that's exactly how or, i want my fridge design you know you, you can you can sort of bespoke do this and then once you've placed your order online on the internet, this order feeds into their system and then they have a completely automated, bearing in mind this is just a model, but they actually have this in as a proper scale one in the factory. Yeah, this is just a smaller version. Yeah. And the robot will pick all the various components and then it will assemble your fridge freezer. Yeah, hopefully it kicks up soon because yeah, you it, can it, see some of them in action. Yeah, so it, th th this will then assemble your fridge freezer. And then hold on, hold on. I want to see them. I want to see them working first. So we've got these. This one yeah. over here is doing a bit of work. We got some robot arms moving about here. But basically, this is kind of a model of, of the 
sort of factory and how it all runs. You'll see it in a second. Um, and by employing this automated system, they've really been able to up the quality level because like robots don't kind of make mistakes. They do things right every time. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, weren't we? Like if you employ people, you're going to have to deal with sick days. You're going to have to deal with people in a bad mood or tragedies Absolutely, that's happened in their yeah. life. And with robots, that ain't going to happen. That's They're going right, to do the yeah. same thing. They're going to do it right every single time. Now, there's positives and negatives to that because it is um, going to kick out a lot of low-skilled workers. Um, so there's going to... That's in a whole other story. But on, anyway. on the other hand, it will create a lot more high-skilled jobs. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. There's, there's two ways of looking at it. But... We're just bringing you the high tech yeah, for now. Yeah. That's a that's a whole other story. Absolutely. But moving on to here, once once people have placed their order on the online and bespoke created the fridge freezer they want, they can then log into this and they can see the progress of their order going through the system in the factory. And I remember last time they were yesterday they were telling us about how in the future they're going to make it so you can see the process of the order live so they're going to install cameras into these the kinds factory. of boxes and you'll be able to see your fridge being made live on the internet but actually in the factory these are not these little boxes they're huge oh, machines be huge ones, yeah, this course. is actually a scale model yeah i forgot yeah <laughs> the automated production line that's operating in the factory so yeah and the reason you're going to be able to track your exact order is because at the start you have the ability to register your face so it scans your face and your face is in the system and it's attached to your order so what, what's it like when you come to pick it up you can only get you, your order. yeah that's right because it'll scan your face and it'll know exactly which item is yours so yeah. nobody else can take your your item away so and, uh, there's exciting things on the horizon there is a lot going on um this, this looks kind of interesting over here this is um like a wind turbine management system could you explain to us what what this system is for yeah it's, it's, um, uh, it's a big data uh -huh. operation and a maintenance and a maintenance platform for wind turbines uh, for no, wind, wind power uh-huh Okay, so this is um, a monitoring and maintenance for wind turbines. So it's a platform to monitor and... And um, operation and maintenance. Okay, so it's for the operation and maintenance of wind turbines. So can you see any problems arise before they occur and become a bigger problem? So can you, what do you monitor? What are the things you monitor? This big data machine. And this wind farm. Uh huh. And if, if, if this machine has some problem, uh, the platform can uh, alert you. Like, ah. In advance. Ah, okay. Now then you send pay someone to maintain the, the machine. Okay, I've got you. Thank you. Thank you. So, what it does, it it's a platform that monitors the output and the um, what's the word the the health of wind turbines so if it sees some problem it can alert somebody to go and send a maintenance team there before it comes a bigger problem china have a lot of um, clean energy sort of uh, what's the word initiatives going on this is another one so this thing this just looks like a metal frame to you but i'll tell you what it is it you go inside there. I actually you did this yesterday. There. Just imitate it. Just, yeah, just yeah, go and so stand in there. Stand inside there like this. So you stand inside and you do that and bang, a few seconds later, it's going to have taken all of your measurements. It makes a 3D model on your phone of your body and your measurements. And what you can do with that is then come over to this screen. And um, we imagine this is probably going to be used in high-end tailoring shop maybe not even high-end maybe in the future it'll be in maybe yeah in the, in the near future it might yeah. be high-end ones but anyway you can come over here and uh, you can basically get tailored clothes and just um pick and customize your your clothes on this uh, screen here and right now he's customizing the inside of the suit and it's going to give you an instant price 
and it's all i would imagine this is going to work in conjunction with an automated clothesline yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gonna you know tailor a suit to the exact dimensions that you you know that, that you had in, in this machine it's and another literally big job. it doesn't just take a couple of measurements you've got every measurement you can think of the list is about 30 or 40 measurements from your body man it's absurd and because it creates a 3d model of you you can like here we go look here we go so that's the 3d model of this guy oh, you can... oh, don't worry though oh, i thought you're gonna move it oh, hang on. so you watch this this guy's just been in that machine and you can turn it around and it's got all the measurements on the left hand side of um of his body so for clothing purposes that's pretty pretty insane okay let's carry on walking around here and see what else we can yeah so what what, we what see. this um company does they make these paperweights okay and these paperweights are crystal glass and they laser engrave um different sort of pictures or 3d images into the middle and what's kind of cool about this is that you can if you come over here you'll see this code here now you scan this code with your phone oh, imagine if someone scans it and buys yeah. one on the stream <laughs> that'd be cool wouldn't it let's see you scan this and then you can order one of these crystal paperweights with your selected imaging from through wechat and then what happens this screen over here this is all the live orders they have coming in and then basically the the it picks up a glass block and puts it into the laser engraver here it laser engraves it it then transports it from here i am i'm standing on the road because oh. we've got the uh the robot coming so it laser engraves it it then packs it into a box and transports it to a dispatch point and it does all that without anybody ever touching it the only time somebody needs to touch it is when they kind of take it to the post office or wherever they're taking it to post check this out bang there's a new one <laughs> someone just said you used to be a part of phase yeah that's me <laughs> phase bazzy yeah so no human intervention bam 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 you got your product they actually were kind enough to give us one each of these yeah yesterday. yeah so, so we have a nice we've got uh, a nice new mine's got raffle city image in it what yeah. does yours have can you remember the name jiafangbe ah jiafangbe anyone yeah, who's yeah, watching yeah. who is from chongqing they gave me one with jiafangbe in the middle which is oh, very kind as you can see you know technology in china is not lagging behind by any means like some some people think they are really on it here we had a comment yesterday when we we're doing a chongqing stream and a guy oh i thought china was like the slums i was like oh, <laughs> imagine he's watching that video thinking nah this can't be in china i want to have a look at that um that what's driving thing that what's, driving thing yeah, what's going on there because this one's kind of cool do we know where the other pavilion is there's another hall somewhere but we don't know where it is oh yeah yeah outside okay just... so we're just trying to learn a little bit more about this uh this driving simulator uh, it's kind of cool though yeah get in it get Let's in have it. A, a look Ah. This is the controlling room, and the car can be empty, and this can be applied in the fire rescuing. Oh, so okay. Can, uh, be a board of getting hurt in the fire, and you can just sit here, control the car, and the ah. car will getting those things automatically. Yeah. Okay, I got it. So what it is, Ollie? Basically, this is like a you have stuff in a car, and it makes a real car into like a remote control car. So you would be sitting here but you'd actually be driving a real car <laughs> so this, this indicates with the car via 5g and because 5g is low latency there's no like delaying when you turn so you could actually be driving a car on a road 
using using this kind of simulator so you could enter like dangerous areas or if there was fire or something like that quantum alchemist says step on the gas lee yeah it, it doesn't seem to be uh responding to what i'm doing i think it might be just a demo actually but... yeah i don't think it actually yeah I d imagine if you were actually driving a real car right now on the roads that would be yeah, kind of that... cool wouldn't it you gotta be careful though you don't you don't crash into things but driverless uh joseph quack says driverless bus is already testing in a few cities yeah wow yeah no, but, but this is kind of not driverless this is remote control yeah, remote driving. driving yeah right. for dangerous situations yeah, yeah that's pretty good should we make our way over to the second pavilion yeah i think so i think we should make our yeah. way to the second one so oh 8k micro led look at the picture on that oh my god how big is that screen stand by it for perspective how big is that screen man it's pretty large however we've seen screens way bigger than that haven't we but not 8k not 8k i feel like after it gets past 4k it's just at that point where your eyes aren't really able to see much better than that <laughs> that's however, got some serious quality on there isn't it i wonder what they approximate your eyes to be like i don't know so it's uh, it's not the easiest Because of time, yeah. Oh, it is raining a little bit. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Where we are in Chongqing at the China Smart Expo exhibition, where they are showcasing some of the most innovative high tech um, that's on the horizon. You know, in conjunction with AI and 5G. So we're going to head around this exhibition, show you all the uh, you know the best tech and see what we can find. So we'll take the camera along with us and see you in there. We're here at the Smart China Expo here in Chongqing and uh, one of the sort of exhibits or one of the things they're showcasing here is this um, smart health platform by um, Tencent basically what this is it uses big data and lots of data points from your health so you can access all your health records from a single qr code through your wechat and so every time you go to visit a doctor every time you have a ct scan every time you have other kinds of treatment or scans all this will be pulled in and then they will use this data with big data to see by analyzing various things uh, to see if you're you know you're at risk of any health condition and so they can use preventative health care before some problem occurs and we're going to test um, one one of these things this is to, to test your posture so this young lady will select a male and then here and then I need to stand here and uh, get into this silhouette and stand in this silhouette and this um, program will analyze uh, what I'm doing or analyze some of my health so we're waiting so I've got a score of 80 now I'll be honest because it's all in Chinese I don't know what the 80 means but I think it's kind of good because if I'm 80 out of 100 then I must be doing <laughs> kind of okay Not bad. if it was kind of 20 I'll be slightly worried you know but 80 is always a good number right especially 80 in China it's always a good number yeah so uh, and I believe I can also get this data on my, my phone as well. And uh, so yeah, that, that's, that's this one. And now we're moving on to another attraction, which is a VR experience. So let's go check that out. <coughs> this looks really pretty cool. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but we're going to give it a go now. It's, uh, it it looks, looks kind of a, a cyberpunk. cool area, yeah. So sort of walk in here. Oh mate, look and, at that. Uh, <laughs> ah, so I'll put my glasses here. Do I need to put this up? Okay. Hey, this is a pretty cool, uh, look at that. cool headset. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh man! <laughs> this is like a head-up display, man. Yeah, this is voice recognition. Ah. Oh. 
，哎，那是贵客。Oh, so I've got that is really cool. I've got like this heads-up display, and it's like overlaid onto what's going on. And I'm like, I'm sort of zooming along the road. God, it's like I'm flying, man. Yeah. How's that, mate? That's pretty cool. I've got like information about things in front of me. I want to. I think it's not loaded though. I'm getting the spinning thing as if something's not loaded. Maybe I think it's not loaded. It's like just a spinning. That looks so futuristic, man. Hold on, I need to stand up voice for mine. Ah, okay. Xiao so, Wei, 带我去长江缆车。Try this one, okay. Oh, it seems that one was not working properly. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like suggesting where I can go for things to eat. It's giving me like loads of information about where I am. So it's kind of like if you can imagine, it's like a head-up display. It's it's almost like oh, you can touch it, man. Oh my god! It's like it's like having a screen in front of you. You can actually like touch things on the screen. Holy moly! That is really cool. So as I'm going through it, it's like giving me information, and you can you can press it. Oh my god! Like your fingers, like a mouse. Wow. And I've got like. It's like all three D, man. I want to go at this. I'll never go. Wow. That's really good, man. I've never seen anything like that before. It's like a complete, you know, these like films where you have like sci-fi and they've got all this information in front of their eyes and they can touch things and move things. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. That is so smart. And, and when you put your finger out, it's like a mouse. Mate, you gotta give me a go at this. Oh man, that is so cool. I've never seen anything. Wow, that is. It's like that is so cool. Man, you need to have a go at that, Ollie. Go on. Then. Maybe you can try to take a shot from the camera and with the uh, it's up this thing. You can try to steal the shot. Oh. Oh, it's not gonna focus, man. Hey, they see some stuff like this. Really cool though, that yeah, is, man. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Well, right, you have a go. So, uh, Ollie's gonna have a go now. No way. That is so cool. I've never experienced that before. Wear this sort of stuff when you're driving. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, damn. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Three, two. That is really one. crazy tech, man. As if your fingers, like, are actually a mouse. It's like a pointer, isn't it? Oh, mate. This stuff just blows my mind. Could you imagine walking around wearing that and it's yeah, like, directing you where to go and but like going, in a few oh, this years restaurant's when it's, cool and but yeah yeah it gives you ratings of restaurants yeah, and it that's gives what you doing. like places to hang out and yeah. people to avoid unbelievable man <laughs> in the future though it will literally just be in contact lenses yeah, yeah you yeah. won't even know you're wearing them I can't see much going on right now 
Is there like a voice command where we can, can kick you, it into can gear? You, there's not much happening. He wants to get some action. Is there like a voice command where you can yeah, do? Yeah, it's in menu, but I need. Xiao Wei, take me to the train. Changjiang train. Okay, let's go together. Changjiang train. I want to go. You have the right to decide. I'm going to take you to Changjiang train. The train is going to start the future of the Chongqing Jiangsu Railway journey. Oh yeah, yeah, we're on the uh, cable car right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go.